But if you can't think of sale up, it won't spray. Okay. It's a skunk in the trap. Looks like it tried to dig. It tried to dig its way out. Oh boy. I have a skunk in my have a hard trap. It's right around the corner there. Skunks shoot out of their butt, right? So I'm gonna try to come at it from the front. And if it can't realign itself, it won't shoot. <sighs> Wish me luck. I realized that I should wear like actual ski goggles. I have my trunk door open in my car. Keys are in the ignition and the driver's door is open. I'm gonna put this towel over the have a hard trap to hopefully make the skunk not spray. Once you get, once you get, uh, if you got the trap covered, yeah, give him a couple, give, give him a chance to chill out a little bit. But then all you got to do is get, get that one side of that door open, and then just walk away. He'll find his way out. Right, right. But if he can't pick his tail up, he won't spray. Okay. I don't know how big the skunk is either, though. It's a pretty small one, I think. Yeah, so he might be able, to, he might be able to get it up enough to spray. So just be careful. But as long as you got the thing covered, he's not going to spray you. You know, you're all set. Okay. And if possible, don't touch the trap. Only because if you did have rabies, if you can, uh, if you can use a stick or whatever, you know, to uh, to get to, to manipulate the trap open, that'd be even better rather than stick your hand down there. Gotcha. Unless, unless you had a really good thick pair of uh, leather gloves, which you should be wearing anyways. Yeah, I am wearing leather gloves. Okay. Well, that's your baptism for New Hampshire, releasing a skunk from the Abahog. Yeah. Um, that'll be, uh, that'll be a, uh, uh, that's definitely a strike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was gonna, I was gonna take him away. Is Do you think that's a bad idea or? Take him away? No. No, just let him go. Yeah, don't try to move him around. You'll get, if then he will get sprayed. I mean, why would you do that? He's just gonna come back. He'll come all the way back here? Even if I go like. I would, I would, what are you gonna, I mean, what are you gonna do? Put it in your car and drive away? Yeah. Oh, I would no. I do, I do not recommend that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just let him. Jesus Christ. Yeah, put him in the back seat of the Jeep. You'll be fine. Um, <laughs> just uh, let him go. Yeah, let him go there. And he, he, he won't bother you again. Time of year in the spring, they're moving around, but he'll he'll go away. You'll probably never see him again. All right. Cool. Well, I I don't uh, I don't have any animus towards him, so I don't I don't mind just letting him go here, but. Alright, well, if you get stuck or whatever, if you can't do it, let me know. I'll come give you a hand. Alright, cool. At some point. Alright. <laughs> yeah, okay. made one strategic error, which is that I left the garage door open and it made a beeline for that. But luckily, it went right past. 
I shouldn't have left that door open. A beautiful creature, by the way. All right, well, I have survived getting a skunk trapped in a have a heart. The skunk is actually a very beautiful creature and glad that it was not hurt in any way.